Here, methane and methane are going to come together and form a liquid. They can do that uh, if the temperature is cold enough, of course, because the boiling point is very, very low. How are they attracted and how do they form an intermolecular bond to form a liquid and a solid? Protons of one molecule attract electrons of another. They still do that, not just within the individual molecule, but between molecules as well. That force of attraction causes them to come together and you've got yourself an intermolecular bond called London dispersion force. It's one of the types of van der Waals forces. Here's another van der Waals force. If you have two polar molecules, okay, here's, here's like something like a HCl. Okay, so in HCl, you've got a partially negative and positive region. Well, that tracks the partially positive and negative region of another molecule. So when they come together, you can form a liquid and a solid this way, as well as attracting by protons and electrons. So they still have London dispersion force, but they also have something called dipole, because there's two poles here, partially positive and negative poles, dipole-dipole force. So that's the second type. But you can have a really strong dipole-dipole force that occurs between molecules like water or ammonia or HF. Anytime you have hydrogen attached to O or N or F, you've got yourself a real high degree of difference in polarity here or, or electronegativity between the nonmetal and the hydrogen. So what happens is you have a really partially positive and negative region established. Therefore, when these two molecules come together, they really form strong bonds. And that's called a hydrogen bond. And even a little bit stronger than a hydrogen bond would be when you have, yep, sodium chloride, and that's an ionic bond. And ionic bonds, well, take a look, they actually form these lattices or crystals. And so sodium chloride would have this cubical type of shape to it. The lattice structure, very rigid, and it forms very strong bonds. Ionic would be stronger than those other ones, although we wouldn't necessarily call it an intermolecular bond. And neither would we call metallic bonding. How do metals come together? Well, electrons flip from one empty valence orbital to another inside metallic atoms to create very ductile and very conducting types of structures metallic structures, which are also quite lustrous. This is just about as strong as ionic, you could say, give or take. But the strongest bonding in the world, that occurs when you have carbon stacked on top of carbons. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's not exactly a very strong bond there. But here's the thing. If you take carbons which are piled on top of each other, like this, in a network, network covalent bonding, Carbon here can be compressed to form coal, graphite, and then kind of loses its blackness and becomes very shiny and turns into diamond, the strongest type of bonding we have.